Hi, my name is Fred Becker, Director of Becker Institute. I'm here to help you raise self-reliant and responsible children, to show you how to create pro-social opportunities so your child can develop the social-emotional skills they will need to lead happy, healthy, and successful lives. Let's look at our email for today. Today's email comes from a mother in Minot, Minnesota. I have two young boys, ages 14 and 16. The 14 year old is constantly disrespecting me by arguing me with me every time I ask him to do something and just giving me this negative attitude with crossing his arms and sighing out loud. I have tried to tell him to stop this and we've even punished him, but nothing seems to work. Now I have a five-year-old boy who is starting to copy my older child's relationship. Can you help me? Sign, tired of being disrespectful. Well, I think of all the questions that I get from parents, this is number one. They are sick and tired of their children disrespecting them over and over and over. Whether it's something they ask them to do or just standing there with an attitude, their hands crossed, their legs crossed, giving out a sigh, or even saying negative things like, that's stupid, or I hate you, or I'm not going to do that. Well, this just doesn't happen on purpose. This has been happening for a long time in most households. And when most of this happens with a parent, the parent challenges the child. You'll stand right next to them and say, don't do that and often punish the child when that behavior occurs. Most of the time, what we do is we encourage the behavior. In other words, we teach the child that this is acceptable behavior by standing there and allow it to happen. So I'm going to give you a real easy solution to this problem. And if you do it correctly, you will love the benefits you see from this. The next time a child disrespects you, I want you to simply turn and walk away. Just two steps and put your back to that child. Wait 15 seconds. Turn back to the child and say, I will never ever allow you to disrespect me again. So let's try this again. If you say to the child, I need you to go clean your room and they say, why do I have to clean my room? You turn right around don't say a word instantly. Turn around and walk away from the child. Just two steps. Stand there with your back to the child. Wait five seconds, ten seconds. Turn around and say, let's try this again. If you stay there and challenge the child, what you're doing is you're telling the child that you give them permission to do it again. Understand that this child's maneuver with you is an unconscious mind thought. They're not thinking. Their non-conscious mind allows them to make this behavior. By you turning around and walking away, it makes the brain shift to the conscious mind and it makes them understand that something's happening. And when you walk back and you keep doing this over and over, you will tell the child that they weren't supposed to disrespect you and it'll stop. Now this is hard to do, especially for parents, because they rather fight with the child or they rather not walk away because they don't lose the power position. But as long as you stand there, the child will stay downshifted and they will continue to be disrespectful. Try this because it really works. It's a hard thing to do, but once you get it going, your child will never, ever disrespect you again. For more information, visit us online at beckerinstitute.com.